Hello, my name is Gary Sims, and this is Gary Explains. And one of the common formats that we use for transferring around files uh, across the internet, maybe for backups, is the .zip file. And there are some variations on that, including the .7z for 7-zip files. And on Linux and Unix, you kind of might use tar files with a GNU zip. Now, in today's video, I want to look at how you handle zip files and .7-zip files and tar and GNU zip files uh, inside of Linux, both on the command line and using the desktop. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so here we are on the Linux desktop. In this case, it's Ubuntu 18.04. And I've opened up the file manager. That's the one here on the left-hand side that you just get by default. And here we see three different types of files. Piccolo OS v1.zip is a zip file, and that contains all the source code for Piccolo OS. Piccolo OS v1.tar.gz, so that's a tar file that's been compressed using a GNU zip, gzip. And then I have a folder called My Stuff, which you could be using, backing up whatever you want to back up. Photos, files, uh, media, whatever it is. And inside here, there's a whole bunch of files. There's also another subdirectory with more files in it, so we can see there's multiple levels. Now, to unzip a zip file that you've downloaded, really, really easy. You right hand click and then you go extract to, and there are two options. Extract here will create a folder based on the name of the zip file and then extract all the contents into there. So extract to here, it's created a folder called Piccolo OSV1, exactly the same as the file name, but without the .zip. And then inside of that, you'll find the contents of the actual zip file. If you want to choose where you want to put it, you right hand click on it, go extract to dot dot dot. We then can create a new folder here. Let's call it just Piccolo. And then we say, extract it all to there and here you can see it's been created and now inside of that you find the contents of the uh, zip file so very very simple you can choose wherever you put them let's just tidy up here a bit get rid of those two same with the tar.gz file extract here and it will uncompress it and unpack the tar file because remember the tar file is the archive and then the .gz is the compression and then inside here again we find all the files that we need there very very simple let's just uh, tidy up a bit here get rid of that now if you want to compress something here's your my stuff folder you want to compress some stuff in it right hand click and all you say is click compress what name do you want to call it my stuff do you want a dot z do you want a dot zip sorry do you want a tar dot xz that's a different type of compression that we're not covering in this video or a seven zip one let's create a seven zip because remember we have a look at that uh, we can try to unpack it so you hit create there you go it's now created that file and it's now recognized it as a seven zip file if you right hand click you can do extract to dot dot lot let's just make another thing called uh, my stuff to to not make it any different. There we go. And then it gets extracted into there. And as you can see, it's got all the same files in it. So from inside of the file explorer, it's really, really easy to do. Literally right hand click and then just choose how you want to extract the files. You can create files, you can unzip them all here. Really, really simple. Okay, so here we are on the Linux command line. The first thing we need to do is make sure we have all the right tools installed. Most of them are installed by default, just to be super sure. sudo app install. Uh, zip, unzip, gzip, and pzip dash full. That's the full version of 7-zip. I've already got them installed, so it's just going to say they're already at the newest version, which is what they've done. Now, once they've installed, we now need to do some things with some zip files. Now, here I have a directory, and I've got three things in here. One is a copy of my a Piccolo OS that's for the Raspberry Pi Pico. I do recommend you check that out and the videos I made for it. It's all the source code in a zip file. Here is the same stuff in a .gz file. We'll talk about that. And here is another directory of some other stuff when we want to create some zip files. So we're going to talk about that. So let's assuming you've downloaded the zip file with something in it, in this case the source code, but it could of course be anything. What are the first things you need to do? Well, the first thing that I always do is if I use unzip, so that's a very simple command, minus T for test. That test to make sure that everything is correct, that the file has no corruptions in it. So I'm then just putting unzip minus T piccolo osv onezip And that will then create a big long listing. And as you can see, every one of these files says, OK, OK, OK. And at the bottom, no error detected. So that's listed kind of all the files that are there. And we can see these different files from the source code. And it's told me that everything is uh, OK. Now, if you want to unzip that, now notice here we've just got these three things. We just do unzip piccolo, 
zip file and it will go ahead and it will do it and look it says extracting inflating extracting inflating because remember a zip file is both a compression tool and an archiving tool so it has to inflate it that's to decompress it and it has to extract it remove it from the archive and now when we look here we can now see there is this folder piccolo os uh, main so that's unzipped it into there and that was because if you remember when we do an unzip minus t when we look at it okay all of the files start with that everything's inside that folder so that's the way the zip file was created so everything got put into that folder and if we actually go into it uh, we can just see here now all the different files in there absolutely fine okay now, if you didn't want to put it into that Piccolo OSV1 main folder, what we can do is uh, 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 unzip minus D for directory, and then we'll just create a directory called Piccolo, and then you give it the name of the zip file that you want to unzip. And now, if you notice, it's put everything in Piccolo slash, and then all the other stuff, inflating, uh, extracting as you go along. So again, if we look now here, we can now see there is a folder called Piccolo. And if we go into there, we can see that it's exactly got the Piccolo OS folder into it, which is where, of course, everything was stored inside the zip file. And then it's got all of the source code in there. So that's how you unzip things. Now, one quick one, quick extra tip. If you find that that unzipping is too noisy, then what you can actually do is you can do a minus Q for quiet option. OK, and then we'll put in the uh, name of the zip file. We're in, unzipping it again into the directory called Piccolo. But now it'll be much quieter. Look at that. No, no fuss, no listings on the screen there. Uh, but we can see that the Piccolo directory is there with all of the files in it. OK, so I've reset things again. Now, there is another tool, 7-zip. 7z that works uh, with its own compression technique which is slightly better than the one probably for the normal zip file but it also handles zip files so if we do a 7z and then t for test and then again we look at our piccolo zip file the same thing it now says this is everything here everything everything is okay it's tested it and it's everything is okay but it didn't list the files in there. If you want to list the files in there, we do exactly the same thing, but change the T to an L for list. And then it lists all the files in there. And again, we can see it's the Piccolo OS V1 main folder and then all the files that are inside of it. And it tells you here uh, all about the statistics of the files and everything is okay. So, uh, so you can use the T for test, L for zip, uh, L for list, sorry. And in fact, you can use X for extract. So if we do this, it will extract everything. And now here we can see we have again that Piccolo OS V1 main folder and we can go in there and again see all of the files. Now if you want them to be extracted into a different folder, you again need to use X for extract and then you use o minus O for output. Now without a space, this is interesting, don't use spaces in here, keep it stuck to it. We just write here Piccolo, it will be in now the folder Piccolo, not O Piccolo, it's minus O for output and then Piccolo. And then we can use piccolo.zip uh, here and it will extract it all. And now when we have a look, we can see there is now this piccolo folder as well because we've extracted it to there. Now 7-zip has the opposite problem to uh, zip is it doesn't really tell you much at all. So if you want to see it kind of extracting the things, you use minus BB. Uh, don't ask me why. I thought about it. I thought, but minus B, I don't know why. But there you go. Minus B, B, and it will give you some information about what it's doing along the way. And there you go. You can see it extracting all the files. So if you like that kind of output, I always like that because it kind of gives me the assurance that it's actually working rather than just looking at this kind of command line, just flashing cursor as I'm waiting for it. But that's just me. So there you can get some output about what's going on. Okay, I've reset things again. Now, if you ever have a .gz file, Okay, it would normally be associated with a tar file. Some of this is a TGZ, so you can press this down, compress this down, and there's any pun there. Uh, you reduce this from tar.gz to TGZ, TGZ, okay, to be a tar. Now, the thing about gzip and g unzip, which is GNU zip and GNU unzip, is it's not an archiving, so it only can just compress one file or uncompress one file. So you need tar to do the archiving part and GNU zip to do the uh, uh, the compression part. So we just basically do a gun zip, GNU unzip, 
Piccolo OSV1 tar.gz. You don't need to do anything else. What you'll actually do, it's very different from the other ones, it will actually remove the .gz and just give you the tar file. So it does it all automatically for you. So it's just removed it there. And then just for completeness, I'll just show you if you did want to extract that, we won't go in much into tar today. Maybe if you think we need a separate video on how to use tar, do let me know and I'll think about making one. But you do X for extract, V for verbose, F for specifying the file you want to use, which in this case is piccoloos.tar, and that will then extract it all there. And again, we can see we have the same thing, piccoloos v1 uh, main file, and that come from the tar file there. Now, if you want to compress a file with GNU zip, then you do the opposite. You just do gzip piccoloosv1.tar, and that will then do it, and it will automatically add the GZ on the end. So you notice that file here has now disappeared, and it's been replaced by the version with the T with the GZ. So it does the compression. So that's how you zip and unzip with uh, GNU zip. Now, talk, if we're talking about zipping things up, let's have a quick look at that. Now, I've got here a folder called My Stuff. If you go into My Stuff, it's just got some files. It's got another directory underneath it called Other Bits. It's got some files. It doesn't matter what they are. You could be zipping up whatever it is that you want to zip up, your source code, your pictures, your music collection, whatever it is, a backup, whatever it is that you're doing. So, the way you create a zip file from My Stuff is you say zip minus R for recursive, because you want it to go into all those directories. And then we're going to call it my stuff. Oh, sorry, missed the space there. My stuff. Oh, if I could type, it would help. Dot zip. And then what do we want to zip up? We want to zip up that folder, my stuff. So as simple as that. Zip minus R for recursive, the name of the file you want to create, and then the name of the files or the folder that you're trying to compress. That will go ahead and it'll add everything that's inside of my stuff into a, here we go, look at that a uh, zip file called mystuff.zip. And as you know, we could do an unzip uh, minus T to check that. Uh, and there you go, everything is okay. And it's got all those files in it as we expected. Okay, so that's how you do that. If you want to do it with 7-zip, you use 7-z, uh, as we did before, A for add, add to an archive. Again, minus R for recursive. My stuff. we're gonna do now dot 7 Z, that's the default uh, uh, extension for 7-zip files. And then again, my stuff. Okay, and that goes ahead and adds in all those files. You can see it's going through them one at a time. Boom, 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 boom. And at the end of it, we'll have a .7z file. Let's have a look. There we go, a .7z file. And as before, we could also then do, you know, a 7z seven, a seven uh, list, uh, my stuff dot. 7z and there you go listing all that stuff so that's it so we've been able to uncompress and compress using zip unzip 7zip uh, g uh, gzip gnu zip gnu unzip and also a little bit of tar there to show you how you can do all that's all from the command line I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, why not stick around by subscribing to the channel. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at Gary Explains. And I also have a monthly newsletter. Go over to GaryExplains.com, type in your email address, no spam, but you will get the newsletter. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. <music>